Well, first it was The Sopranos, then it was Jersey Shore, followed by Jersey Licious and The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Italian stereotypes are some of the most prevalent stereotypes in the media, and they're worse now than ever before. Joining us now is Andre Domino. He's the president of Italian American One Voice Coalition, and geez, you know, I'm Italian too there, Andre. Why, why do we, uh, the Italians keep getting bashed so much in the media? Well, it seems to be that Italian Americans are really the last ethnicity that there's no political correctness. And throughout media, you just see these constant hyper portrayals of Italian Americans and stereotypes. It's all over. And what, for somebody maybe overseas who's watching, what, what do uh, most of these reality shows depict Italians as? Well, really, you have to look at it in two sections. You know, before with The Godfather and The Sopranos, every time you saw an Italian-American in media, he was either a mobster or a mafioso. But now with these reality shows, it kind of expanded that to also being a bimbo or a buffoon or someone who was very boorish in the way they acted. So it really is now kind of an expanded stereotype of Italian-Americans. And for us uh, folks, again, for the folks that that are overseas or perhaps over in Chicago or wherever it might be, uh, most of the people uh, that they are really kind of bashing are the folks in New York, New Jersey, and Correct. really kind of on this East Coast here. Now, I want to show you, obviously, one of the most famous faces from the East Coast is, of course, we have Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey, and this is the Time Magazine cover, and I understand he wasn't too happy with this. No, as you, know, as you can see, it, it kind of looks like a mugshot. It uh, looks like a criminal there with the title The Boss. And I don't think that it was a, a secret that the fact that they were trying to give him a pejorative look uh, because he is half Italian and that shot is not very becoming of him. So what is your group doing? Uh, to try and resolve this or try and break this habit in the media? Well, the, we're with the Italian American One Voice Coalition. And what we're trying to do is just say that we just want to be treated like everyone else. There really is no positive balance to these negative stereotypes. They're so prevalent, but you also don't see the balance. You know, with other ethnicities, you'll see positive portrayals, you'll see positive things. But with Italian Americans, it just seems that every single time they're either mobsters or mafiosi or bimbos and buffoons. And we just think it's not fair. Are you uh, actually going to the media with any of your complaints? Yes, for example, like with Jersey Shore when it came out, it was such a hyper-reality stereotype of Italian-Americans that when they would listen to us about changing things like using negative terms about Italian-Americans or having the Italian flag being desecrated and so forth, we then went after the advertisers. And we told the advertisers we didn't, we didn't think that they should be promoting this. So we did get 11 national advertisers not to advertise. But me, as you know, the show is still pretty popular. And even though they didn't advertise, it did go on for six seasons. Well, I can say as a journalist, I'm supposed to be partial, of course, but my name being Mia Cecilia Visconti Marosani Mariatowski. <laughs> there you go, everybody. Uh, I, I, it, it is somewhat offensive when you keep seeing it and you can't understand because I don't think any other group would, would allow that as well. No, and, and rightly so. And we don't want to see any group maligned. But when it comes to Italian Americans, a great example, I'm an engineer. I design medical electronics. I, when I go out, for example, I went out to Utah and I gave a demonstration to medical doctors. And I don't hide the fact that I'm Italian American. But after I was done speaking about a medical procedure, they wanted to know if I was connected or if I was carrying a gun. Wow. So unfortunately, that perception becomes reality. And other people, what they see on TV so many times on so many programs, becomes what they think. Well, why do you think, and I'm not really sure either, but why do you think this has happened? I mean, there are some colorful characters that sure. happen to be Italian, and I guess you could portray them easily, but is, is that the only reason? Well, I think, unfortunately, they've glamorized the organized crime. You know, when you look at The Godfather and The Sopranos, it became a glamorized thing. And unfortunately, some people may even look up to those characters. Or on the Jersey Shore, again, a glamorized bad behavior. So. I don't think that's a very good thing to emulate towards, but unfortunately that's what the media has done. It's glamorized it, and people have looked at this and said, well, maybe I want to be like this. It's not right. And if uh, somebody wanted to join your organization and maybe voice their complaints as well, how do they get involved? The best thing is just go to our website, iaovc.org, which stands for Italian American One Voice Coalition, and we welcome them to come and help us defend our heritage and defend everyone's heritage. All right, it sounds good. Andre Domino, uh, terrific to meet you, and we hope you come back to uh, Ever Today. Thank you, Mia. Thanks so much, Andre.